In this video, we'll look at determining a position function given a velocity function and determining a position and velocity function given an acceleration function. So for our first example, we have an object moving along a line with velocity v of t equals 3 sine pi t on the interval 0, 4, 0 to 4 with initial position s of 0 equals 1. And we want to determine the position function s of t for t greater than or equal to 0. So notice that this is a, a future value type problem. To find the position at time t, I need to take my initial position and add it to the change in the position between 0 and t. So that will be the integral from 0 to t of my velocity function, which I'll have here in terms of x, since I'm going to be replacing x with t when I do the integration. So we can next replace our initial value here with 1, and then I'm going to have to do my integration. So the integral of 3 sine pi x is going to be negative 3 cosine pi x divided by pi, and that will be evaluated from 0 to t. So you can use u substitution to get that integral, or you can use the rule that the integral of sine of kx dx is equal to negative cosine of the constant times x divided by the constant plus c. So we're just making use of that rule there, which can be proved with um, a u substitution. So this is equal to 1 plus negative 3 over pi. We're going to have um, let's see, cosine of pi t minus cosine of 0 there. So we have 1 plus negative 3 over pi cosine of pi t. We know that cosine of 0 is 1, so we'll have negative 3 pi times a negative 1 there, so that'll be plus 3 over pi. So this is the value of our position. I just want to make one note here on an alternate method for finding the, the future value. Instead of doing the definite integral like we did here, you could do an indefinite integral where you end up with um, a value for s of t that has a plus c and then use that initial position information to solve for c. So another way to solve this problem would be to say that s of t equals the integral of 3 sine of pi t dt, which is equal to negative 3 over pi cosine of pi t plus c. And then say that since you know that s of 0 is equal to 1, you'd have 1 is equal to negative 3 over pi cosine of 0 plus c. Cosine of 0 we know to be 1. So c would be equal to, um, let's see, 1 plus 3 over pi. Therefore, s of t would equal negative 3 over pi cosine of pi t plus 1 plus 3 over pi. So we see that that agrees with our first method. So that gives you two ways to approach this type of problem. I'm going to focus on the, the first method um, in the next problem, but now you're aware that you have these both um, different approaches that you can use. So in this next example, we're finding both position and velocity given acceleration. So this will be a, a multi-step problem here. So I have my acceleration given as 2t over t squared plus 1 quantity squared with initial velocity 0 and initial position 0. So notice that first I need to find my um, velocity at time t. This will be equal to the initial velocity plus the net change in the velocity from 0 to t. So that'll be an integral of my acceleration function of 2x over x squared plus 1 squared dx. So notice that our initial velocity here was 0, so we'll just have 0 plus this integral from 0 to t of 2x over x squared plus 1 squared dx. So notice that the integration technique that we're going to need to use in this problem is u substitution. So it's a good place to review some integration techniques. So we'll let u be equal to x squared plus 1. So du is 2x dx, and I'll have to ha also have to change those limits of integration. Notice that when x is 0, u is going to be equal to 1. So when x is 0, u is 1. When x is t here, u would be equal to t squared plus 1. So we'll have an integral from 1 to t squared plus 1 of du all over u squared. So doing our um, antiderivative here, 
This will be negative 1 over u, evaluated from 1 to t squared plus 1. So we'll have negative 1 over t squared plus 1 minus a negative 1, or plus 1 is the value for our velocity function. So now let's look at solving for our position function. So s of t will be s of 0, the initial position, plus the change in the position between 0 and t. So that'll be an integral of velocity. So we have velocity right there. So I'm going to be integrating negative 1 over x squared plus 1 plus 1 um, dx here. Okay. So let me just write a summary of what our velocity function was above. So there was our velocity function. That's what we're integrating here to find the position. So we know that our initial position was 0. Integrating this negative 1 over x squared plus 1, well, I recognize that that integral is the arctan function. So I have negative arctan x plus x. And this is evaluated from 0 to t. So I have negative arctan of t plus t minus a negative arctan of 0 plus 0. Um, arctangent of 0 is 0, so we're just going to be left with our position function as t minus arctangent of t.